Go here, Profitable 2019, that's hashtag TP19. Uh, today, we're going to do a quick intro to our speakers, a little bit about the sessions that they'll be offering, as well as what we're offering, J Man Speaks is offering it at the convention, and how to get the most out of your triple play experience, whether you're a first timer, whether you're you're a rookie, you know, rookie first timer, whether you're a veteran or you feel like me, been going 12 years in a row, there's still something more that you can learn by tuning into this broadcast today. So let's get started with introductions. We have Tracy and Pierre. So Tracy, why don't you go first? I'm gonna bring your names up on the screen here so people know your names. That is me. Good morning, and I have to apologize. I apologize to the guys. J-Man made me run this morning, so my hair is wet. You're seeing me post run, so enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, and thank you for making me run. It was a good one. Um, so I have two sessions twice on Wednesday in room 322. So I will basically be in room 322 all day Wednesday the 11th. My first session is about organic growth on Facebook. Um, I feel like we've gotten away from the relationship building that Facebook really can do. And it's an organic process. It's not about paying for ads. It's not about bombarding people with listings. It's not about any of that. It's about really nurturing those relationships, the people you want to talk to. Um, and the second session, it's got kind of a fun name. It's I'm not a guru. I'm not a rock star. I'm not a ninja. I'm a realtor. And it's really, again, getting back to the basics of what it means to be a realtor. You know, we learn so okay. much in NAR. We learn so much through commitment to excellence and uh, the um, code of ethics. I keep wanting to say circle of excellence, code of ethics, that we really don't need anything else. Again, it's about nurturing relationships. It's about being good to our customers and our clients and our fellow an hour on each of those twice. Um, I'm doing it. <laughs> and so those are, um, are they for CE or non-CE? Non-CE. So then let, let me just, let's just highlight that for a minute because sometimes folks get stuck into the mindset that, oh, it's not CE. I don't want, this is the best part. There's no CE. So there's nothing like we can take the classes to where you want it to go. Yep. You know, I think sometimes people go, oh, it's CE. I have to sit there and it's boring. Non-CE or CE, whatever we do is still going to be fun. Uh, but but this is important that you're giving people the content that they desire, and, and that and that's what Triple Place about over 100 sessions, uh, non CE and CE related. So Pierre, what do, what do you got going on, my friend? Well, tip top of the day to you, friends. Um, so I have two sessions. I have one on Tuesday, and that's going to be called Agent Extinct: How to Stay Relevant in a Changing Real Estate Market. You know, things have changed, time has changed, everything has changed. And I want to show, you know, like Tracy, I believe a lot in building relationships. So I want to show you some real business strategies because a lot of times real estate agents, they come into real estate and they have this nine to five mindset and they don't understand that you are a business owner now. You're the CEO of your company. So I'm going to give you some real business strategies to make sure that you are you stay relevant, that you survive, that not only you survive, but you thrive in 2020 because this market is going to be something that we have never seen. I've been doing real estate now for about 15 years and I have not seen the things that I'm seeing right now, the changes, the, everything is, 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 is upside and down. So um, as business owners, you need to have these strategies. So I'm going to be talking about that, um, you know, some key takeaways and that I'm going to show you how to stand out and, and add insane value. Uh, we're going to teach you how to, you know, something what we call attractive based marketing, right? I always teach my, 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 my students, you know, success is not something that you pursue because whatever you pursue runs away from you. But success is something that you attract by the person that you become. So become attractive. You know, make sure that you add so much value that people are hopping into your boat talking about where do I sign? I want to work with you. So we'll be talking about that on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, I have a two-hour session called Think Like a Marketer, Sell Like an Agent. And the reason why I came up with this concept was when I look left and I look right, I realize that I'm not getting beaten 
by other real estate agents. I'm getting beaten by marketers, right? All of the different marketing companies that are out there that are selling, you know, selling us leads and stuff like that. They're marketing companies. So I took a look into like, okay, great. Why are they beating me? So I looked at their mindset. I looked at what they were doing and I realized that they were adding more value from a marketing perspective, as opposed to us as a real estate agent. You know, we didn't shift in our marketing skills, right? Uh, we're still doing the same thing that we've done for the past 50 years just listed, just sold. <laughs> and we haven't gotten away from that. That's all right, we do. Right. And, and I wanted to show, okay, great. If you are going to be marketing, you know, how are you going to figure out who is your, who, who's the ideal person that you're, that you're, that you're servicing? You know, once you know, once you have your who and the person that you're really looking to provide value to, I tell my students this all the time, that clarity brings contracts and contracts bring checks. Once you have clarity and focus on who it is that you service, because you can't service everybody that wants to buy and sell a home. That's impossible. You have to niche down and figure out, okay, am I servicing first time home buyers, mover buyers, relocation buyers, VA buyers? Am I looking for distressed sellers? Am I looking for relocation sellers? Uh, you know, what type of what type of client am I looking for? Am I am I called to the to the to the to the wealthy? Am I called to the to the athletes? Am I focusing mainly on city workers? Am I focusing on on um on on you know on on whomever it is, business owners, you know. Whomever it is, once you figure out your who, then right. you can communicate with them better and add value. So I'll be doing that on Wednesday. All right. And, and we'll post your, your guys' exact sessions and the timing in the comments so that people can get a better idea. Um, I'll talk briefly about my sessions. Um, I'm doing I'm part of a panel on Monday, December 9th. It's part of the, I guess it's the kickoff to the first day. Grow your business panel on Monday, December 9th, 2.30 to 3.30. Uh, that's going to be a pa panel with Shea Hada, Travis Everett, Ty Nguyen, and Andrew Dorn uh, is, is going to be facil facilitating that panel. We're just going to be talking about each one of us has a different niche and what we're good at, and they're going to be asking us uh, how to explore that niche to help better serve you and your business in 2020. And then Tuesday, brrr, I got a busy Tuesday. I'm actually looking at the schedule now because I can't remember it all. Uh, New Millennium Broker Management. So that's if you're a, a, a managing broker or a broker owner, I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology to leverage your time and, and to get more done and provide better service to your agents. And it's going to be a two-hour session on Tuesday, December 10th from 10 to 12. Uh, and then I have from two to three, I have my favorite class, WAP, okay, which is all your favorite real estate apps. I'm going to go in depth on five and then give you uh, like my top 25 after that. And then four to five, I have commercial tech tools. So it's a, it's a busy Tuesday to help our commercial practitioners. I have tools that can help you again, just do more, provide better service, leverage your time. Cause there's nothing more valuable than time. There's nothing, nothing you can never get back and no amount of money can get for you. So that's me. 60 seconds or less wrap that up. I'm going to go back to Tracy. Uh, Tracy, talk a little bit about your experience and where you're from because you didn't really tell folks that. And I think that's a big part of why people are going to come to your session. Absolutely. And that's so bad of me. I am Tracy Freeman. I am a realtor in Maplewood, New Jersey. Maplewood is a commuter town to Manhattan. So for anybody who has clients who are relocating, who are going to work in or around the city, my town is perfect for them. And if it's not the exact match, I know all the towns up and down the train line to New York City, so I can find them a home. Um, I've been going to Triple Play, we're talking about, I think it's been four or five years. And I think that I was actually talking to somebody who hasn't gone since 2005. Okay. And from what I understand, Triple Play was a very different experience years and years and years ago. Um, I know last year I did all of my CE credits. We were talking about CE a little bit. They're not due this year, so that's not my focus this year. Obviously, I'll be speaking all day Wednesday, but the classes have gotten so much better. They really have over even the past five years. There's better content. Um, all of the classes are now at the convention center, so people don't get distracted walking through a casino. They may stop. That doesn't happen anymore. They're serious class time during the day, and yeah, you can hang out and have fun in the evening, but it's serious. And... I, I love going because I learned so much. And to be a speaker this year is like the ultimate to me. I am humbled to be in this crowd of speakers because you guys are amazing. Uh, well, we're, we're happy to have you. And it kind of brings it right back to Pierre because Pierre went last year like this. 
eyes wide open. Rookie like Jay, what is going on here? It was it was his first experience last year, and then this year he's he's a speaker, so he's kind of like instead of like wow, you great. Up, I want to speak here next year, and he made it happen. So kudos to him, Pierre. Let's start with you as far as because I think a lot of people will be coming for the first time, and and it can be. I remember my first time; it was like overwhelming. Like I didn't know where to start, where to go. I didn't really have anybody I could talk to. And there were some people from my board, but I was kind of like a newer agent, didn't really know anybody. Tell, tell me about your experience when you first got there and, and what your game plan is this year as an attendee rather than a speaker. Yeah. So, well, you know, I, I've been I've been a real estate agent 15 years. Never went to triple play. Never went one time. And last year was the very first time that I went. So, and, and like Jay said, I was just all over the place. I was like, wow. Wow, because it was huge. Like when they say that it's the largest uh, conference and expo of its kind, they're not lying. It is massive, like beyond massive. And uh, one of the tips I'll definitely say is, uh, ladies, don't try to look cute. Wear comfortable shoes. I'm just gonna put that oh, out yeah. there, okay? Because I saw some, I saw some beautiful women struggle. My wife was with me, and she, and you know, we've been around, so she knew what time it is. But I'm seeing these ladies are walking around, and the toes are like, you know, and I'm like, oh my gosh! So definitely comfortable shoes because you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. Um, no, download the app. Me, I was in sneakers the whole time. Yeah, you see, because you're a veteran. You went for a couple of years, but you got these rookie coming over. You know, oh, my God, I'm going to look so cute. No, wear some shoes. I'm telling you right now, get some sneakers. Yes. Okay, because it's not, you know, you, you're there to learn and grow. Um, definitely get the app. Definitely get the app. My my advice would be to, to, to get the app, to download that. And be very intentional. If you're going for the CE, go ahead and circle that out in the days. I strongly recommend if you need CE, that's a great place. You could knock the whole thing out. Um, but also if you're not going for CE, be intentional of the speakers. I like get the app and really like go at it. Like, don't just wing it. Don't just wake up and let me just see what's going to happen today. Like, no, you pay to be there. You're there. Just, uh, you know, be intentional for me. I did the same thing, you know, not going as a speaker this year. Um, I'm, you know, go, you know, after when I'm not speaking, what I'm doing is there's a couple of speakers that I really want to see. One of the things I did was I looked at the outline and I just started Googling the speakers. I started Googling them just to see who they were, what personality, who I could find. And then I'm like, oh, wow. You know, and you get a taste, you can get a flavor of that speaker, you know, from, you know, looking at some of their YouTube or their Facebook and stuff like that. And then you could say, great, I think that I can connect with them. So I was very deliberate in that. So the days that I'm not speaking, I'm going to be going to the to, to the people that I selected that I, you know, I really want to hear some more of their message. So for me, that would be some big takeaways. Wear some comfortable shoes, download the app. And just uh, do a little bit of research before Google the speakers, and then be intentional of who you're gonna go to. And 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 last but not least, when you're there, just be there. I think a lot of times we go there and we get distracted by all the other things. But if you're there, be there. You pay to be there. Go there and just be in that moment whenever you're in that session. All right, that's that would be my biggest takeaway there too. Yeah. And and to add to your point, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, if there are sessions that you know absolutely you want to go to, get there early because sessions mm -hmm. do quote unquote sell out. They run out of room. Not yeah. every room can handle as many people. They try to do their best, but you never know. So if there's yeah. something you really want to go to, get there early. Like, you know, our sessions. Yeah, that's good, good, good tip, Tracy. That's really good. Well, let, let me add on to that. We we like to call it the two foot rule. So yes. if you're in a session and you're like, uh, it's not what I thought. Not necessarily. Maybe it's it's not good, but it's just not what you thought. And and maybe there was you were torn between two sessions, and you picked that one. We're as speakers, and I can tell you, any of the speakers that are that will be at Triple Play, we will not be offended if you get up and you walk out and you go to another session because we want you to get the most out of your experience. Right. Not, like you're here, you're trapped. You guys can't leave. Like that would never be the case. The security at the door, like no man. Uh, so, <laughs> I got here at the door, like no, no, no. You guys, no, no. sorry, I gotta stay. No, no, nay, nay. <laughs> but I mean, so CE, Tracy, though, you want to make sure let them know that they can't, they can't go in and out of CE. Like CE is like you, that. Well, that's CE, something well, they, they could. They just won't get credit. You like, get the credit. You like, want to point that out. Yeah. yeah. They, well, they yeah, let for you sure. go to the bathroom. You can go to the bathroom in CE, but you can't leave for good. <laughs> yeah. Right. So Tracy, what what's your plan then? As it, because it, I feel like we have a really good cross section of experience here. Pierre's is in his second year. You're like four to five. You're yeah. kind of like, I've been to this rodeo before. 
Yep. Like, what's what's your game plan going into this week as an attendee or next well, week? I'm actually coming in Sunday night. I'm taking um, an investment course on uh, Monday for my ABR credit, my ABR certification. Excellent. So I'll be taking that on Monday, and then Tuesday, my focus is actually going to be on the mortgage classes. Um, that's something that I, I mean, I, I'm not a mortgage rep. I don't want to be. But I've been in the business for 10 years, and that's something I really ne never delved into. You know, I can talk the talk somewhat, but I've always stayed in my lane, and I've always just done real estate and just focused on that. But I'd really like to understand it more, and there are some really good classes on Tuesday. So that's my outline for Tuesday. So I like what you said because you've been in it for a while. You've been in real estate a decade plus, you said, right? And, and it's like thinking about – well, I've been in it for a while, but where can I improve on my business? Because right. no matter what, we can never learn too much. Nobody goes, okay, I'm good. <laughs> I'm done. I don't need to learn anything else. I know everything <laughs> forever. But it, it's thinking about, you know, being intentional about your learning and saying, okay, well, you, you have to get your elective for your ABR, right? You're going to knock that out. Yep. And then figuring out, okay, of all the of all these CE options, uh, where can I learn more of, of what I need to improve upon? And I love what Pierre said of going in and really checking out the speakers because, you know, I always, I speak about social media video and all that stuff, but I still go to other sessions to see the different delivery methods and see, right. you know, and, and, cause I, I always learn new things. Oh, uh, but I like what Pierre said about going to their website and, and going, cause if you search them on, on the triple play site, you should be able to go to any one of their social media yeah. um, platforms, depending if, if they've supplied it or not. And I could just tell you now, I've been going since 2007. I think that's almost 12 years. Uh, the only year I, I missed was the year of, of Superstorm. Oh, yeah. Uh, where where the, the entire, and I think there was maybe 800 people that year just because the entire boardwalk got wiped out. Like it was really a challenging year for, for Atlantic City, New Jersey, New York, everybody really, right. um, as far as that was concerned. But I'm still going to learn. You know, and and I love what Tracy said about getting there early, but get there early and meet some people, right? I mean, a, a big part of this is is networking, and don't don't be that guy that goes with. I just gotta grab a bunch of business cards off my desk. Here. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. With a bunch of cards like this. Hi, hi, Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, and then they, no, the better better than that, they stand by the escalator like they oh. did me that last year. Like that's gross. Like. No, no. I mean, that's that's gross like you, you stood by the escalator and just like as soon as you're coming off like don't do that like have real like tracy said like we've forgotten that you know real estate is a relationship business it's yeah. still all relationship we are human beings yeah. and we need to have you know, relationship with one another. And that's genuinely having some skills of meeting somebody and say, hi, where you're from? Yeah. And you know, what, what what part of the business do you specialize in? And once you make that connection and you can exchange information, not just, you know, that's just gross. Don't do that. It's gross. Yeah. It's gross. Yeah. And, uh, to your point though, about all the time we have and all the time that we have things scheduled, have lunch with people you don't know, have a yeah. cup of coffee with someone you don't know, you know, Talk to someone different. Don't just, and, and we have a crew that goes every year. There's at least a dozen of us. We spread out. We go talk to other people. We don't need to see each other while we're there. That's right. I've made some of the best referral connections from going to conferences. I really, yeah. and everyone, I mean, it, I guess people just don't believe that it happens. But mm -hmm. if I spend enough times in a room and I'm from Maplewood, New Jersey, somebody's going to remember that. And say, oh, you have somebody who's moving to Tracy's neighborhood. Go meet her. She's over there. And I've done right. conferences. So talk to each other. <laughs> Find out who you are. Sit down and have a meal. It's fun. Yeah. And and just to kind of piggyback on that, when I meet somebody, so I'm I'm from Rochester, New York, but the, the misconception is like we have Rochester and then there's suburbs surrounding Rochester. So like I grew up in Greece, New York, which is a suburb. It's still Rochester. But somebody might say, oh, he's from Rochester, but I have a referral for Greece, and I may not get that referral. So when I meet people from outside my area, at like a, especially like a regional convention like this, I'll say I'm from upstate New York, right? So it's like a region. So if you get anywhere in upstate New York, whether – if I can't service that client because it's outside of the area that I might service, I will, I will refer you to a good agent in that area of where you're looking. And I won't, I'm not going to take a referral fee because just it's about connecting the right people. 
And I think that's like Pierre, he could say he's from a certain area in Queens, right? Ozone Park, or you could you could say and Southside they, Jamaica, Queens, man. Southside Jamaica, Queens, born and, and if, raised. And if, if if you don't say Queens, right? Somebody could go, Oh, I have a referral for Richmond Hill, or I have a referral for you know Garden City, like areas that you could still service. Yeah. But be, because you said a specific just pinpoint on a map, that's, that's kind of a little bit more challenging. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. See, I didn't realize you were from Queens. Now I know you're from Queens. Like, See, yeah, I was. I was supposed to say that in the beginning. Yeah, I'm from. I'm from Jamaica, Queens, man. Love it. Love it. Been here, pretty much all my life. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna bring up the Triple Play website so you guys can yeah. see. Well, you should be able to see it on your screen, but I'm gonna bring it up solo. Tracy, did you get your room already that you're gonna be in? Yeah, it's. Everything should be on the schedule. Yeah, Three thirty-two. Yeah, we have. It. Yeah, uh, okay. Now, if Hazel, my wife was. Uh, she was just posting up a little bit of the room, so whoever is looking. So I know you're in three. You're in room. Uh, yeah, three thirty-two, and you got two sessions, and Jay's in four one for the WhatsApp. The WhatsApp. What app? Uh, <laughs> you can't say it the way he says it. What? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta say it that way. It doesn't. It doesn't work. <laughs> All right. So I'm on the website here. I just want to show the folks. I'm gonna go over here, and obviously, if you haven't registered. Because you're a realtor and you want to wait till the last minute, uh, their tagline now is "Save the time, go online, don't wait in line, something like that. Don't wait in line, register online." That doesn't make sense, but anyways, <laughs> you can go online or you can do it in person. If you want to wait to the very, very last minute, you just want to drive up there and then and then register. You're gonna do it right here on the website or do it in person. Now there's some events, special events, but let me go to the session schedule first. So you can get an idea of what it looks like as the internet is so unbelievably slow. That's because you're in the boonies. The boonies. And <laughs> let, you should let her know. It's We have a million people where I live. Okay, so session <laughs> schedule. You can search by day. You can search by tracks. So they have different tracks, whether you're appraisal, AE, broker manager, commercial designation certification. If you have a specific speaker that you like, you can search by speaker name this way. Okay, you can go, oh, that Jeremiah's guy. Okay, oh, Melanie, oh, Veronica. Okay, and search by that, and then it'll give you all their sessions. And then they have the CE organized by state, whether it's New Jersey, New York, New York appraisal, or Pennsylvania. Let's see if we go New York real estate. Boom. Okay, then it gives us, I think that's that's the class maybe that, that's Monday, yeah. Right, that's one you're taking. Uh, first time home buyer specialist. This is interesting. I hadn't seen that class before. So you can go through that way and, and really be intentional about it. Just like Pierre said. If we go through, meet the speakers, want to go to special events. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so the keynote, I got this. Terry Watson, good friend Terry. of mine. I would definitely. Definitely want to attend that. That'll be room 411, 412. The kickoff party is Monday night, 8 to 11. That's uh, Bally's Atlantic City. Yep. Should be at the Wild Wild West, right? Yeah, with the Wild Wild West. Yeah, so it, if you've attended in years past, the Wild Wild West it section was like a desolate. It really was like a ghost town <laughs> where, like, nobody would hang out there. But they totally did uh, a really great renovation there. And yep. it, it's definitely – you should, should attend that. There is a mechanical bull, just a reminder. There yeah, really is. That's right. Um, we have receptions. Where's the – okay, the icebreaker reception is the next night. That's in the room, Palladium Ballroom. That's definitely something great to attend. That's in Caesars. They, I mean, all these – if you're staying in Caesars or nearby, and then they have an RPAC High Rollers suite. And uh, you brought up a good point. No matter where you're staying, I mean, all the hotels are, are fine, and they're, you know, whatever one you pick. It's a 10 minute cab ride to anywhere else. So anywhere you want to go in Atlantic city, I think the maximum you would pay is $14. So any of the hotels, anywhere you get a good rate, you can be at the conference center in 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, and I think the, uh, let me bring this back up. There's also shuttle buses in years yeah. past from the major, uh, yes. so either from Bally's, from Caesars, and others, I can't name a specific name, but I know for sure it's like Bally Caesars. And even if if you want to go outside and breathe, weather, you, it's yeah, Borgata. It's less than a one mile walk 
if you're anywhere on that strip, it's less than a one mile walk if you have winter gear and you, you want to be. And hey, if you don't, you can go to the outlets and you can buy a jacket. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> What, what a great way to slip that in, Tracy. I see that. That was real smooth. Like, you know. yeah, there are know who go there just for those outlets. They spend an afternoon, usually like Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon. They just disappear and come back with bags and bags of stuff. You know, I used to think that my wife went with she went with me last year, <laughs> and then I thought that she's going with me this year to support. But I see her strategically planning out the outlet run. So I'm like, are you going with me, or is this the outlets? Or anyway. <laughs> Quality shopping has to get done. Come on. Come on. You got to get it done. Well, it's, it's, I know a lot of people, just like you said, they go there just for the shop because they're outlets. They are outlets. They're not just stores. It, it's definitely outlet shopping. I have purchased things in the past. I did buy a jacket one year because it was colder than I had packed for. There's uh, a Columbia outlet. Come on. You got to go. Absolutely. Um, let's talk a little bit about the expo before we finish. I'm going to bring this. I'm going to get rid of the shared screen. Move that to staging. Bring you guys up to the three. Like this. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. Yeah. All right. So, so the expo, what do you, what do you do? I know I have a plan for the expo. I'm going to start with Tracy and then Pierre, because I know Pierre's a techie like me and Tracy's pretty techie too, but what's, what's your game plan for the expo? Cause I, I, I dedicate at least a few hours to that. Yeah, that'll be um, in between sessions on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll head down over there. Um, I do consider myself a bit techie. I mean, I like going and looking at what the the newest thing is there. Um, I at, at a previous conference, I found Addressable, which I believe is going to be there again. They do handwritten note cards, um, so I'll go by and check them out. Um, see really what's new and different. You know, I been going to so many conferences for so many years crms are not where i'm going to be um you know certain things like that but definitely looking at what's new and different and interesting that i haven't seen anywhere else is what i really want to check out and then of course you go and you hang out with the mortgage guys because they have the fun booths they have the money grab they have um it's always intriguing to see what they're going to come up with next and i shouldn't say mortgage guys mortgage men and women mortgage people Mortgage people, but they always come up with something fun and different at Triple Play, and I like seeing what that is. Well, and, and everyone that you talk to, I would say, okay, where's the party that you're hosting? Because <laughs> almost all of them are hosting something, and and you could and really ask them. Funny, I don't have to ask. Well, I'm not. A, I'm not as popular. I'm like, can you please let me into your party, guys? And they, uh, but they, they're they're usually you could go with a few bucks in your pocket and still make it through the whole week with as many. Yeah. It's my, you know, ball around a budget kind of a situation. Yeah. Christmas is around the corner. Uh, Pierre, what what do you do for the expo? Uh, I have no plan. I'm a nerd. Um, <laughs> I just I go to town. Like you don't understand. Like you know, you're intentional about sessions. You're not intentional about the expo. Well, I'm intentional of hitting the whole thing. That's what I'm saying to you. Like, I'm not, there's like, when I say to you that I'm a nerd, people don't understand this. Like, you know, I don't, you know, I, I may lose a little bit of my man card in what I'm about to say. I'm not big into sports. I don't watch basketball. I don't watch football. You know, I don't do anything of those sorts. So, like, all I do is real estate. So, uh, that's my hobby. That's what I do. That's what I love. So, when I get into the expo, I glaze over and I'm I'm talking about I'm hitting every you ever went to a flea market? <laughs> you ever went to that? Right? Yeah. Or you ever went to like Target when they got a sale going on? Yeah. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about? You hitting every aisle, okay? That's what I do. So my game plan is start on the left, end up on the right. You know, get tired, you take a break, <laughs> go again. And I come home with a big bag of just all kinds of stuff. Because again, what I do is I I, I go, I talk to people, I make connections. And then I come back and I digest it and I see what's good. And I've made a lot of great relationships, a lot of great relationships with companies um, by just hitting the expos. So, like, for instance, the one I just I just did one. There was a huge expo in this convention that I went to. And um, a CRM was there. You don't like CRM, Tracy, but I love them. And the I, CRM that I, you know, one that I use was there. And we built a beautiful relationship. And now we're in an arrangement for me to start doing some um some some marketing and stuff for them and some you know some exposure so again it's great so my my technique is start on the left finish on the right that's how that works 
Now it makes sense why you need comfortable shoes, man. Absolutely. I got two comfortable shoes because I always wear one out. That's funny. So <laughs> I, I, I do the same thing as you, Pierre. I actually, I don't want to miss a thing. And I, I'll have certain windows of opportunity in my schedule. And I'll go through and I will start on one side. And I will quite literally go up every single aisle. Okay. If I see like, okay, a waterproofer or something that's like more local that wouldn't be traveling right. to Rockford. Yeah. Like right. I skip them. But I'll go through and I'm like, okay, tell me about your product or service. And then after a while, because my ADHD, I, I get oversensitized. Right. I'll be like, okay, I need the 20 second or less spiel. I don't need your, just give it to me. Yeah. And I'm like, we do this. Okay, thank you. Can I have one of these? And I'll move on. <laughs> and then from there, I actually then go back and I'll go, okay, where do I want to do like, it's almost like I'm buying a house. Where are my second showings going to happen? <laughs> I actually then put check mark, okay, I'm going to go back and talk to this person. He has, you know, uh, pre screened virtual assistants. This was somebody I met at NAR where I was like, this was like perfect, where you don't have to then figure it out for yourself. I went back and talked to him, you know, more in depth because I, your time is your most valuable asset. And so it's like, Give me the spiel. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now who do I want to go back and actually invest some time with? That's yeah. right. You know, and, and and it's the same thing. Let's we'll, we'll finish off here with follow up after the conference because you get back from the conference, you got this. Nope, I don't. If I like you, we become friends on Facebook. That's it. We're done. I don't take business cards. If you really want a business card for me, I have them. But if we're having a good conversation, then we're going to have a good conversation. We're going to become friends on Facebook. I'll find you on LinkedIn. And that's it, because I can't handle that stack of business cards. I throw them out. I know people are like, "Here's my card." I'm like, "Ah, okay." Yeah. Eh. And actually, <laughs> other times, if they really want to give me a card, I take a picture of it, and I'm like, "Here, save yourself the card. Give it to somebody else. I have your information. We're good." Boom. Tech tip: Save it Google Keeper, Evernote, or any other business card keeper. Pierre, what do you do for follow up after? Um, you know, I'm still old school. You know, from that days where you know, I, I still take their card. You send a telegram, then, huh? You send a telegram. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do a single dad in telegram. Well, uh, yeah, no, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a cool guy. I just take their card and then um, I do, I, I do, a, I do what Tracy does, but just a little bit more delayed, which is I'll take it and then because again, like my ADHD is, is is reckless, right? So it's like I'm there. I got to be in and out. So it was like, you got like about five, 10 seconds to let me know what it is. Okay, great. I take it and I put everything together. And then I, this is what I'm intentional about. I come back and I lay out all the cards. And then I said, oh, great. Yeah, I remember this guy. And then I'll go look for him on Facebook, send him a message on Messenger as the case might be based on, on, on everything. Sometimes I do it back at the hotel room in the night. Right. Um, but when I'm, on the, when I'm on the floor, remember, I'm putting in work. Yeah. I'm in everything. I'm not. I'm not there. So, so I got okay. Great. This is it. This is just information. Boom. All right. Cool. Right. And then you and then um, I don't update it. Do you actually remember? That's the problem I have. If I take a business card and then later on four or five hours go to, you know, connect with them, I don't remember what we talked about. Well, yeah. So I mean, it's not so you know because we're not going to talk about. I'm not. Again, you're different to me. Like you're a person. You're going to be having great conversation with them. Not me. I'm in and out like a shotgun. Okay. So. We're not going to have much to remember of what we talked about. It's more or less like I liked that product or I liked that service. Right. So when I get back, I'll be like, oh, great. Yeah, this guy from Showing Time, this was amazing. I'd like this because this is something like there was one company that I did that, that had the VIP business cards. I met them there last year. And now, you know, now I'm an affiliate for them. Um, but I remember that and I put it in, I put it in my book. I came out, I said, Oh yeah, this is the guy with the VIP cards. I hit him a message. He hit me back and said, Hey, we spoke a triple play. I want to talk a little bit more about your product. And that's it. And then they hit me back and then we talk. So we're not having, we're not having real, real in-depth conversations when I'm at the table. There's no way to do it for me. No, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So for me, I do a combination of what you both do. I'll, I'll, because I go back for those second showings. And then what I do is I take a picture of that business card and then below the business card and I use Google Keep or whatever you're using, I'll, I'll write notes about our conversation. Like, okay, we spoke about this and I should follow up with them about that. And, and then I add a little bit of detail, something about our conversation so that they can know that I was actually listening to what they were saying. Right. You know, because I, I think that's one of the, the lost art of listening in real estate. Too often we're waiting for them to shut up so that we could speak. And I think when you add a little something, and I always follow up with a bomb bomb video. Um, shout out to bomb bomb hashtag. Yeah. Shameless plug. Um, 
But I, I just make sure that I follow up immediately when I get back because I'm the type of person that if I don't do it right away, I'm not going to do it. it. It might be February. I'm like, oh, man, I was supposed to follow up with that dude. And then they might have hired somebody else or something else happened. And who knows? I will say for business cards, though, for anybody who's new, is some of the booths have really good drawings. So you put your business card in for that because they want it. I mean, they're they're shamelessly taking it from us, but you might actually win something really cool. Sure. So we do bring some, and if there's something you think you want to win, drop your card in. Yeah, that, that's a great point. I, I, I even know agents that go as far as to make conference business cards. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for my franchise conference, I know there's people that do that. But if you do that, you could then change your email to your spam email for your conference business card so that when you give it, you could that could be your expo card. That's my conference business card. Oh, I like that. That's, cool. <laughs> That's a conversation piece. Pushing the envelope. There you go. All right, folks. So, again, Tracy and, and Pierre, thanks so much for being on Thank with you. me, sharing your knowledge. Be sure to check out their sessions and ours and – and I'm going to give a shout out to um, Bet Speakers, Real Estate Speakers.com. I'm going to post them in the comments as well. I'm part of a speakers bureau, and we have seven or eight people speaking at at the Triple Play Convention. Nice. Uh, so I'll, I'll put them in the comments. Any one of their sessions would be great to go to. But there's just the Triple Play Committee. We're talking about three states, folks. Okay, three states that work on this. They diligently review all the applications, you know, proposals. The um, request for presentations to be sure that they're providing you with great content. So I think you can, wherever you go, it's going to be a great choice. Just get there and make choices. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye guys. Well, Thank you for having me on. Thank you, Tracy. And thanks, Pierre. Everybody else. Have a great day. We'll see you next week. You got it, buddy. Bye.